Hey everybody, so anyways, finally getting out of town, feeling much better after getting really sick, and I got Panda, again of course, and the trail angel, Hi. Elizabeth, and do you have any wise words for us today? Uh, today is a beautiful day, um, enjoy it, just enjoy it. <laughs> That's awesome, yeah. and she actually gave these uh, stickers, so I'm going to actually try to find it, maybe put it on my uh, water filter. Uh, I'm gonna find a good spot for it though. Um, so anyways, come here, give me a hug here. She's giving us a ride yeah. to the trailhead, so that's so awesome. <laughs> that's awesome, okay, so we're taking off. Bye. Yay! <laughs> Scary Mountain. Hey everybody, so we're on the trail. We had to do about five miles and we're about to hit this, uh, the road again. And this is where me and Panda are gonna part ways. He's gonna go climb this scary mountain right now. And I'll talk about it later more. And I am no athlete. And if you can see it up there, it's really steep and it just goes all the way up. And it's snow covered and it's not like fluffy snow, it's icy snow. So a lot of people have already been really hurt. A lot of people said they slide, uh, slid. My friend No Flips had a, he called me up and said he slid 30 feet and he actually hurt his knee, scraped some skin and he went to the doctor. I believe he got back on trail though, so pretty quick recovery too but here just look at this mountain I can hear a car coming too that's cool and the mountain it just goes up so Panda was telling me how Baden Powell I always thought he was like a general I think he might have been too that he was in charge of the created the Boy Scouts and that was really cool. And I believe Panda was an Eagle Scout and so was his grandpa and his father and stuff. So this has a huge significance for him. So he's definitely gonna climb it. He's athletic. I have a lot of faith in him. He's got crampons, spikes, ice axe. So he's gonna own it and do really well. And if I hike fast enough, I'll this road walk around I'll catch back up to him for a little bit but he has to get to a wedding so he has to keep pushing faster than I can hike so should be really good well I'm gonna try to catch back up to Panda spend a little bit more time with him before we say our goodbyes uh, it's Wendy hey everybody so right now we're at the very beginning of the parking lot with uh, Panda and Christy Hi everyone. Wait, I told you it, it, bad editing on my part. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's it's been a really silly day. It's actually been an easy day though. But Panda's gonna have to climb way up there. And look at all that snow and it's just gonna go, he's gonna be doing here's my finger. He's gonna switch back, 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 all the way to the top. <laughs> so, Panda, you have any words to say about that? Uh, I am gonna probably be cold, but I'm excited to get up on some more snow. And <laughs> we'll reunite. I'll reunite with Second Chance in maybe 10 miles, whenever his bypass gets back on the trail. So we've got a separate path, but we'll we'll hook up tomorrow morning so, yeah. or tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. Unless I hike super fast or he hikes super fast, but well, we miss each other. Yeah. It could happen too, though. But yeah, it's been a beautiful day and we might get rained on tomorrow. So, ah, <laughs> and it's windy too. All right, we'll say bye everybody. Bye. bye. Anyways, Panda, it was awesome. And we're actually gonna plan on, we're gonna run into each other one more time. And unless he's like ultra fast, and gets over the mountain before I do my little uh, 
walk around the mountain. So anyway, Hopefully we run into each other again. I think we yeah, will. I, I'm very confident we're gonna run into each other. But it was so awesome, man. Come here, bring it in. <laughs> Enjoyed it the past few days. It's been awesome. The past couple of weeks have been really great. I'm sad that we're just parting ways, but the trail has a tendency to reunite people and you bump into people along the way. So I know these aren't our last miles together for sure. Yeah. I mean, we ran into each other like San Jacinto. I mean, how many times we ran into each other? We keep running into each other. So, anyways, that's it was really awesome. I wasn't even expecting to hike with him today. So it, it worked out. So, yay. Anyways, I love everybody and love you too, pandas. Okay, I'm sad that I'm not hiking with Panda anymore, and I'm 100% alone again on the road. So I know a lot of people who are road walking. It's about 50%, maybe more, that are road walking. But it feels weird to say like so and so is road walking. Uh, maybe that's their own personal choice. Well, my choice is. I'm road walking too because of all the rescues and people getting hurt and just sliding. No flips and Tora, Chris, and Alicia, they all summited and No Flips called me a few days ago and told me about how he, you know, slipped. I think I already told that story though. But yeah, he slipped off 30 feet and he's wearing spikes and everything. So it's really dangerous. So I'm trying not to feel guilty about it. I'm not an athlete. I never came out here being an athlete. I fell in love with the trail. I have to know my limits. I'm hoping 350 more miles, I'm going to be, well, more of an athlete ready for the Sierras. So that's the plan. Pretty much like halfway to the Sierras, so time to just keep walking losing weight get as much weight off as possible for the sierras yay and my arm's tired so i can't hold the phone no going down the mountain that's just rad he's got skis and everything <laughs> he was just coming from up there <laughs> What were you doing? I hiked to the top and skied down. You hiked to the top and skied down? Yeah. Wow, when, when did you leave today? There's a lot of good snow, uh, like noon. Noon? And you just skied down the mountain? Yeah. Awesome, like fist bump. Hey, that's awesome, okay. This is like the coolest guy ever. This is totally awesome. I, was, I didn't know people did that. It's my birthday today. I'm it, 66. You're 66? Yeah. He's 66 and just did that. And just went that. I couldn't do it at all. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. His name's Tom. He gave me a very inspiring story. And uh, I just was blown away by him just going down the mountain. And he's like, that's super easy. It's not even hard. He's like, I've taken first time hikers down slopes like that. And I'm like, wow. Because <laughs> that elevation just looked, the angle and everything looked really scary to me. So he ended up having a, I think, stents in his heart. He had a heart attack, 47. And he just changed his life and decided to get into the hiking world and the skiing world. And he told me a story of Mount Whitney. And there's another mountain. I can never remember his name. He told me. I know exactly the mountain he's talking. It's right next to Baden Powell. It's covered in snow. Uh, that just... He, he's done that multiple times. Just all around. I was, really loved his story a lot. So his name was Tom. And Tom, it was really great meeting you. And really cool watching you go down the mountain. I wish I saw you earlier so I could have got you from the very top just how quickly you came down that was just so cool I love that so much hey everybody so I didn't do a ton of miles panda is somewhere up there I think maybe over there so ah hi panda and lots of snow so a little scary 
So I decided I didn't want to sleep alone. Panda did message me too. He's like, it feels so weird to be alone. And I was like, I know. So look who I found. Hi. It's Outlier. <laughs> okay, so where are you from? I'm from Seattle. Seattle, awesome. And how is it? So I gotta back up and show your tent here. What's it like to camp on a road, a highway actually? <laughs> highway two. Well, I can't say I've ever done it before. It's uh pretty fun. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And it's look a at the beautiful view. The sun too. It's just like <laughs> perfect. And second chance is gonna sleep right here, just laying on the concrete. So <laughs> Yay, concrete. Yay. <laughs> I guess the only other thing I want to ask you is why did uh, I know I doing road walking because baiting pal scares me. Why are you road walking? I'm road walking because the snow is hard and I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. She's actually really scared too, like Bea. I I'm terrified. <laughs> She's just putting on a brave face. <laughs> 11 miles of snow. Oh, that just looks scary. <laughs> so, yeah, just. Look at snow, and the trees are covering how much snow there actually is, so. We all want Panda to be safe, but we're not going to find out until tomorrow. I have no idea, so I hope you're safe out there, Panda. So, good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. We are kings of the world, and tonight is our playground. We are kings of the world.